Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome to MX vs. ATV Reflex, where today we're doing a bit of a throwback track. It was uh, a track released by Hurin, which we've done some tracks in MX vs. ATV Reflex before on. But it's Loretta Lynn's. I think this is the 2015 version of it, I believe. I think that's how long ago this track was released. Uh, and I looked back and made sure that Hinners didn't do this track for a review way back when. Um, but yeah, made by Hearn. Obviously, Hearn probably got a little bit of help from some other people, so shout out to them. But um, we've seen Hearn recently in like the Hearn Kane Hills, and I've talked to you before about um, how Hearn seems to have been around the community for a long time, and he built this Loretta Lynn's track way back when. Um, but yeah, since it is Loretta's week, IRL, there is currently motos going on at Loretta Lynn's. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a, I guess, just kind of gameplay on the track, show it off a little bit. Uh, we've already done, obviously, the Loretta Lynn's track and MX Race ATV all out. I'm assuming I will probably also do a video on Loretta Lynn's in MX Simulator at some point as we head into the National next weekend, um, which will be the first round of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship. But uh, I think everybody's kind of on the hype train for Loretta's right now because it's still early in the week and no one's like tired of the track yet or anything. Uh, there's a lot of good racing going on so far. So I wanted to play Loretta's in a video game, talk about it a little bit, talk about some of the things that are going down at the ranch so far this week and uh, some things that we can maybe expect for the pro motocross track and things along those lines. Uh, but of course, like I said, just giving a shout out to Hearn who built this track. And uh, we're going to try to put down some lap times comparable to some of the uh, pro sport in A classes from the week so far in those uh, low 150s, high 140s range, essentially. Um, but yeah, so Loretta's got started uh, basically yesterday at this point when you're watching this video. Uh, Tuesday, it goes Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, I think there's, you know, usually something along the lines of like 32 classes or so, and then they mix in some you know, the, the pro sport and the... Uh, four to six classes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, day one was was pretty chaotic uh, in the pro sport classes. Uh, Nick Romano, I think, had a big crash late in one of them and uh, Chance Hymas and um, can't think of the other guy's name, Jet Reynolds and stuff, those guys were doing pretty well. Um, I think probably the best moto of the day was in the uh, 25 plus senior, I think class is what it's called where Jesse Wentland and Brandon Scher, a couple uh, of pros that you've probably heard those names before, absolutely went at it. And at least for the first time in, in a, a little bit, Scher was actually quadding out of the Ten Commandments. I haven't seen that in a long time, and I uh, was actually expecting or kind of excited to see what the pros could do in the Ten Commandments. And obviously Scher is a former pro, so he was able to bust a quad out of the of the commandments and that was kind of cool but they had a great battle and um yeah so far just really i think good racing so far um obviously there's a lot of really big names to keep an eye on uh that could be coming soon like the styles robertsons um of the world we uh are, we don't have seth hammaker or hunter yoder there this week because they're both out um hammaker has epstein Barr. hunter yoder pulled out because of uh, some COVID-19 concerns within his own family and uh, you know Carson Mumford another Amsoil Honda rider that is now going to move up he's going to make his pro debut at Loretta's in a week and a half time so he's not racing this week so a couple names that you normally see not there but uh, there are the the Styles Robertsons the Jet uh, Reynolds Chance Hymanses um, Daxon Benix things like that those guys are all up in two, the 250s and the, the 450 Pro Sport class as well now. So they are just about on the verge of turning pro. I think, if anything, Styles Robertson is going to be the next one to go because he's racing Pro Sport this year. So it's essentially along the lines of, like, he's, you know, out of the B class. He's in the A class now, if you will. And um, I think we'll probably see him at some point uh, this national championship. Uh, the rest of it, I think, is kind of still up in the air. Oh, that was a weird reset. <laughs> As to whether or not those guys are going to go pro for sure or whether they're just, uh, you know, because of this weird kind of year where nationals are shortened and um, you don't really get like a good full season in or anything along those lines, they may wait. I don't know. Some may wait till Supercross. Some may just wait until Loretta's again next year and come back and race pro sport because there's a lot of kids in the B class this year. There is a ton of riders racing. Uh, 
250 and 450B. And uh, those, I think, are the classes you're probably going to want to keep the closest eye on because it is stacked. There's a lot of A riders, essentially, that moved up last year, like your uh, Jalik Swoles, your Jet Lawrence's. Um, trying to think of the other names. Drawing a blank suddenly. But uh, those guys all moved up, obviously, and kind of left a big void in the A class this year. So, yeah, Styles Robertson, um, Dylan Schwartz, a couple other guys in the A classes this year are the ones to watch. But that B class definitely seems to be pretty interesting so far in the first day. Um, day two and day three, I think, is going to give us more indication of where it actually stacks up because I think everybody shakes the cobwebs out on day one and tries to get a handle on their expectation level and all that. But just good to see Loretta's is happening this year at all. I mean, obviously with everything that's going on in the world right now, a lot of that racing and all that stuff was kind of up in the air and it seems like they, they still are running a pretty, pretty successful event so far this year. And hopefully that leads into a successful event for the nationals so that we can get some, uh, some Lucas Oil pro motocross racing off. Now I did want to talk about the pro motocross track, as I mentioned a little bit, because one of the big, things that people talked about with Loretta's is, is it's it's a pretty small track it's got really kind of small jumps for what pros would often ride and uh, for the most part they like to build just about a two minute lap time racetrack um, because it's really easy to kind of time it off of TV at that point then like you know you're pretty much exactly going to get a 34 to 35 minute moto in a 30 minute plus two lap race if it's a two minute lap time so anything shorter than that, they don't really like because it throws the game off a little bit. Anything longer than that, they don't like because they may not get the entire race and all that stuff in on TV. So they're going to try to build the track a little bit longer. And uh, I was on the Pulp MX show on Monday. I was talking to our Jason Wygan at Racer X about it. And uh, what he seems to believe is that uh, in Storyland, which is the back of the track, I'm closer to the finish line now, but when I get to Storyland, I'll kind of talk about this. Uh, they're going to expand it out into the parking lot on some level. Uh, on that side of the track because there's really nowhere else they, they kind of can go over here by the finish line jump and the, the starting area. It, you're already almost kind of backed up to the creek that runs alongside the track, basically right in front of me here. So you maybe could extend it a little bit further, maybe behind the starting gate, but kind of run out of room pretty quick. And then right next to where the finish line jump is, there's actually a road that runs alongside the track all the way uh, to the back where the... Um, you know, parking area and pits and stuff like that are. So you can't really go to the right of the finish line because there's essentially a giant road that you'd have to hop over. I mean, maybe because there's going to be a lack of spectators and they don't need to worry too much about stuff like that, maybe they would build dirt over the road and go to the other side because then you're going up into the hills a little bit, which I think would be cool. I doubt that's going to happen. Instead, like I like I said with Weege, um, he was talking about that they're going to expand Story, uh, story land back here, which is this section. So as you go through back here, um, this is like the farthest away from the finish line area. And I think where all these, you know, campers and uh, trucks and other things are parked over here on my right hand side, they're gonna go further back into the trees over here. There's a lot of room to work with off to my right side to go really far into that section. Uh, no idea really what they're gonna expand upon, but at the moment, that does seem like where they will expand upon for the national track, if at all. And uh, yeah, so essentially, I think the rest of the track is gonna stay pretty similar. They may kind of build up the jumps a little bit, but I think uh, you're gonna see pretty much the same tight and twisty Loretta's track, with just a little bit of an expanded storyline for the Pro National. Now, personally speaking, I'm not too fond of it. I don't really love the Loretta Lynch track in the first place. Um, I think it works totally fine for everything that's not a big bike. Like I think the minis, the super minis, the 65s, the PWs, whatever. Um, I think this track is great for them because it's, you know, kind of like a bigger track than what maybe they normally race on. And the jumps aren't overbearingly huge that it seems like pretty much everybody can still hit most of the jumps. Um, whereas the pro classes at Loretta's and stuff like that, it's, it's a pretty tight track. You just, you kind of would struggle to get out of like second gear. You might get to third gear. Um, maybe in the commandments, maybe on the back sweeper after the table through the sand section. Um, but other than that, I mean, it is just a very tight track. So I don't know if I'm really stoked about that. 
Uh, I, I, th I guess I think on one aspect it is kind of cool because it's definitely going to challenge the elite riders of the sport that are used to very wide open national type tracks that uh, all it is is just, you know, hold the throttle pin and go every other direction that you can think of in fourth and fifth gear essentially. Um, but this track obviously is going to be unique to them. It's going to be tight, it's going to be twisty, may provide some surprising results just based on the fact that the start straight is very short, so you're not gonna get your perennial, um, you know, bikes that can pull you down the start straight. Anybody who gets a good jump is likely to get a pretty good start at this track, so we'll see. I don't know, I, I, I'm up in the fence about how this national is gonna turn out. It could be an absolute snooze fest, or it could be an actually really good national to watch because it is so off the wall. Uh, but regardless of which, I'm just excited we have racing back. Like I said, Loretta's going on right now. If you haven't already, head over to Racer TV uh, to check out the racing there, or you could go to racetracksonline.com. We have a link up over there and uh, some live timing for you guys to check out as well. And some stories and galleries and other things. There's a whole bunch of stuff to check out at racetracksonline.com. Related to Loretta's this week, and uh, if you're watching this and you're at Loretta's this week, best of luck for the rest of your week. Hopefully you are enjoying your time there. Always a fun time at the ranch. But I appreciate everybody that stopped by, checked out this video here on Start Your Systems, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.